Hi, my name is Bart Polson. In this uh, short tutorial, I want to show how to create variable and value labels in the statistics program SPSS or PASW as a way of simplifying a uh, printout to make it easier to read. Now, for this, I'm going to use a fictitious uh, surveying data that I created in earlier tutorials that uh, in Word looks like this, study on attitudes about college. And I have questions about age and gender and relationships that's open-ended. And then I have three questions right here uh, that are all rated on a 0 to 10 scale. Now I enter the data in Excel in this way. I have an ID number for each piece of paper. I have the age of the respondent. Now for uh, gender, I code it as female and as 0, 1, because I think that makes things a lot easier for performing analyses. And instead of calling it gender, I call it female, so when it shows up like on a correlation matrix, I know what's the zero and what's the one. Um, by the way, it's arbitrary which is zero and which is one. I just pick whichever one I think might be higher. Uh, one means yes, you are female, and zero means no, you are not, which means you're male. Same thing for relationship. I took the open-ended question for relationship, and I collapsed it into uh, these two categories. And then I have these three uh, attitude questions, or response scale questions, those ones down there. Now, I imported all the data into SPSS, and it'll work great here, but, for instance, I need to know what the variables are. In particular, these three, they're just Q0102 and 03, and for these two, female and relationships, it helps to specify what the zeros and ones are. Uh, so I'm going to use labels. Um, now, there's something you can do with drop-down menus, but I find it cumbersome. I much prefer to use uh, the SPSS programming language or syntax file to write it out because it's easier to modify and repeat things. And so I'm going to go to the SPSS syntax window. Um, not that one. See how it says syntax editor right here? And I'm going to type a command. I'm going to type variable labels. That tells it what I want to do. Now, as a convention, I do it in all caps. You don't have to do it that way, but you know I'm used to it. And then I go to the next line, and I also do two spaces to indent it. And then I type the name of the first variable that needs a label. Now, age is perfectly self-explanatory, and the capitalization is fine, but female could use a quick explanation. So I put female, the name of the variable, and then in quotes, I put what I want the label to be. In this case, I write gender. That's easy enough. The next variable um, in the data set is in relationship. Now, even though it's... Um, kind of clear what's going on there. I'd like to have the label formatted differently. And I'm going to use all I'm going to use sentence capitalization and just get rid of the underscore so in a relationship. Now the next ones are Q0102 and 03 and those definitely need labels. So I go Q01. Then I have to go back to the original questionnaire to see what that is. And it says the person likes college. Now I don't have to write out the whole sentence. Um, I can do a stem as long as it is clear enough so that when it shows up on a graph, people know exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I just put like college, and I like to use, the, again, the sentence capitalization. Q02, in quotes, is like my classes. Like my classes. Okay, good. And then Q03 is going to work a tiny bit differently because a it's a really long one. I just did that to show about how wrapping works in this questionnaire. But let's say it's this one. Don't get enough sleep. So I come back here and I type, don't get enough sleep. Now this one's different because it has an apostrophe in it. And what's important is you can have apostrophes as long as the entire label is in quotes, but do not put a quote mark within the label or SPSS will think you are done and you'll get this error message and you won't know what's going on and it's a drag. But now that I'm done, I just uh, do a space and a period. You don't need the space. It's another convention. And uh, when I finished it with the period, this thing went from red to blue to indicate it's done. Now I can just select it. Actually, you don't even have to select it. You can just you know put the cursor somewhere inside it. And I hit uh, play. And this is the output. And it shows that it's executed this command. And I go back to the data. And when I hover over a question, for instance, you can see the label that comes up. And that's nice. And when I do analyses, that label will show up in the analysis so I know what the variable is. Much better. Now, as far as the actual numbers, for instance, in female, the zeros and ones, and in relationship, the zeros and ones, I need to indicate what those mean. 
those are the values of the variable. And so I'm going to go back to the syntax, and I'm going to do another command that's called value labels. You know, reasonable. And in this case, what I do is I type the name of the variable, female, and then I immediately, I don't put an equals or I don't put a colon or anything. I just write the first value there. It can take a zero and one, so I put a zero. And in quotes, I put that a zero on that variable means uh, male. And then I don't put semicolons or uh, commas or anything. I just put the next value, female. Great. Because for female, one or yes means you are female. Zero or no means you're not, so you're male. And then when I'm done with the, um, the labels for a particular variable, I put a little space and a slash. And then I go to the next line. The slash means I'm done with that variable. Uh, in relationship is a yes, no variable. And zero by convention is no, and one by convention is yes. Now, if I had more than one yes, no variable, say for instance, you know, a uh, person's registered for class, I could put like this. I can put as many variables as I want, just right next to each other, and then I go into the numbers. So that works fine. Now, uh, Q01 through 03, like college, like my class that didn't get enough sleep, are all on the same 11-point rating scale, the 0 to 10, that's 11 points. And the nice thing is, because the variables are right next to each other, I can use a shortcut method. Uh, I only have three, but you know, even if I had 50 or 100, I could use the same method. What I do is I come back here and I type the first one, Q01, and then I put 2, Q03, to the last one, as long as they're all right next to each other. If I have a break in the middle, I could put Q01 to Q03, and then I could have a little space and say Q06 to Q10, you know, to Q10, whatever. Um, I'm going to put 0 here, means not at all, and 10 is extremely. 0, not at all, and then 10 is extremely. And then when I'm done, watch it, I'm going to put the little period here, put the period here, and this will go from red to blue to indicate that the command is done. And then because the cursor is on the same lines as the command, I mean, I can highlight the whole thing if I want. I press the play button. This is the output. It says, says that it's done it. And I go back to the uh, data file, and there they are. Now, the numbers are still there. I can use this thing, value labels. The numbers are still there. The, uh, the words are just laid on top. But the nice thing is when I get the printout, it can show me the numbers, it can show me the words, it can show me both, and it makes it very easy to deal with the, the data and the output then. Um, anyhow, that's it for right now, and I hope that helps. Thank you.